Here's bread week of my Great British Bake Off 2024 Bake Along. This week's signature bake, savory rolls. Now, I'm much more of a sweet baker than a savory baker, so this definitely counted as a challenge for me. But I did a bit of brainstorming and I think I've come up with a flavor combination that I'm actually really excited about. So let's get into this bread week bake. So full transparency, I had a total mental block when it came to coming up with an idea for this bake, but luckily I have a husband who likes to cook and he reminded me of a crostini topper that he had made when we had some friends over once. So for my bread week signature bake, I decided to make pancetta jam savory buns. To make the jam, I rendered down some pancetta until it was nice and crispy and then removed the crispy bits to use for later. And then to the remaining pancetta fat, I added two diced red onions, a few shallots, a little garlic, and then some salt and pepper. I let that cook over low heat so that it cooked down and down, and down, and down, and down, and down, until it was nicely caramelized. I transferred that to a bowl and left it in the fridge overnight because again, the point of this challenge is not to be unnecessarily stressed by time constraints. The next day was the big baking day. I opted to go with the modified version of the dough I usually use for my favorite cinnamon roll recipe, which is a fairly standard enriched dough. I let the yeast bloom and then added the sugar, salt, eggs, butter, and then the flour, adding one cup at a time until it came together into a dough. I let this knead on medium for about eight to 10 minutes until it was soft and only a little bit tacky. Then transferred it to a large oiled bowl and let rise in a warm place for about two hours. Once it had doubled in size, I got to punch down the dough, which is one of my favorite things to do as a baker. Let's see that one more time just for funsies. My pent up rage now released, I transferred the dough to a lightly floured work surface. I then rolled this out into a 12 by 18 inch rectangle, trying to keep the corners as even as possible. For my filling, I brushed the dough with some olive oil, then spread out my onions into an even layer, making sure that they reached the edges and then sprinkled on the crispy pancetta. Then starting at the long end closest to me, I rolled this up into a tight log. Using an extra sharp knife, I cut the log into 12 equal pieces, about one and a half inches each, and then arranged the rolls in a 13 by nine greased baking dish. These were covered and left to rise for another hour before being popped into a 350 degree oven to bake for about 35 minutes minutes until they were nice and golden brown. While the buns were still warm, I brushed them with a few tablespoons of melted butter and then sprinkled on some flake salt as a finishing touch. And if I do say so myself, those are some pretty nice looking pancetta jam savory buns. While I don't think that these would have gotten a Hollywood handshake or a Paul Pat because I guess that's a thing now, I do think that the judges would have enjoyed this bake. And at the very least, I know my household definitely did. Definitely a big yum factor here. This dough is light and fluffy. The onion jam packs a really nice punch of flavor, very savory. It's really nice when you get a little bit of the pancetta as well. It does feel like it's missing a little bit of something though. Maybe more onion, some sort of drizzle, maybe a little herb, something to just bring it all together. So I will say, having never made anything like this before, I'm pretty happy with it. I again would call that a very successful bread week and I will see you back here for Caramel Week.